Speedex Lightning, the game-changing revolution in nucleic acid purification. Hi, my name is Dr. Heike Hauser. I'm Head of Research and Development for Nucleic Acid Purification here at LGC Biosearch Technologies and the inventor of Speedex Lightning. To demonstrate how quickly and easily Speedex Lightning can purify high-quality, high-yield DNA in under five minutes, I will strap on a camera and carrying out a Speedex Lightning DNA purification using canola seed lysis. There's no editing, just me and our lab carrying out a DNA purification in real time in a real life lab scenario. I hope you enjoyed the video. The first step is to transfer the clear lysate, free of cell debris, to a new tube. The lysate contains the ground-up canola seed sample and one of our six novel lysis buffers. You then add one volume of our lightning buffer premix with Speedex beads. Mix the sample for a minimum of 30 seconds. You can use a vortex or a shaker for the mixing action. After just 30 seconds, the binding reaction is finished. We have introduced wash properties into the binding buffer, so the binding reaction is a simultaneous binding and washing step. To separate the DNA, you place the tube on a magnet until all the beads separate to the side of the well. The time it takes to separate the beads depends on the viscosity of your lysate, the lysate volume and the strength of your magnet. You can also use a centrifuge to spin down the beads. Try to remove as much of the supernatant as possible. Make sure that when removing the liquid, you do not disturb the pellet. You then simply add two volumes of ultra-pure or desalted water on top of the beads. Mix the beads with the DNA attached in the water for a minimum of 30 seconds using either a vortexer or shaker. This washes off any remaining detergents and alcohol from the binding steps. The water wash is environmentally friendly and the beads don't need to be dried before the elution step. The DNA won't come off during the wash process. To separate the beads from the wash liquid, you can place the tube on a magnet or spin down the beads with a centrifuge. As plain water has a low viscosity, the beads usually collect very fast on the well walls, so there is very little waiting time before you can remove the wash liquid, typically 10 seconds. You need to remove as much wash liquid as possible to avoid carryover to the elution step. However, slight carryover shouldn't harm the process as the water does not contain inhibitory substances. Only one water wash is sufficient to obtain pure DNA. Now add elution buffer to the separated beads. One purification using our core kits is calculated to 200 microliter of sample lysate input, resulting in 100 microliter of DNA in elution buffer output. However, the chemistry is scalable. Mix the beads well in the elution buffer. The elution time depends on your sample type and the mixing mode. Make sure the pellet breaks apart. Before analysing your DNA, you should separate out the beads on a magnet as they might interfere with the downstream analysis. You can either transfer the DNA allulate into a new tube or you can leave the beads inside the allulate in this case.
There you have it, high quality, high yield DNA purified in under five minutes. When it comes to super fast DNA purification, we have all the bases covered so you can reduce extraction time in your lab. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please share it with your colleagues. For more information on Speedex Lightning, visit info.biosearchtech.com forward slash lightning or click the link in the description. Biosearch Technologies Genotyping Tools Transforming Agriculture